Hello, everybody. My name is Evan with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today, we're going to be going over your KW email address, uh, where you can find it, how to set it up, um, how to change your password, and how to create an email alias. Uh, so first, we're going to go ahead and start by going to our command profile or command account by going to agent.kw.com, and we're going to log in with our KW username and password. We're going to go ahead and click on our name over here in the top right. And then we're going to go down to my profile. Now, once you see that you are inside of your my profile, we're going to go ahead over here to the left and click on my KW. Now here you're going to see in this first section is going to have your KW email. If this has been created for you already, it's going to show you what your KW email address is here. And then right underneath it, you're going to see manage your KW email. We're going to give that a click. Now, this is going to take you into your uh, Keller Williams Google account on the back end. And we're going to click on edit email accounts. So you see here in the very first section at the top, you have your alias. An alias email is basically kind of like a second email address that you can use on your marketing. Um, you can ha have people email you at that address, and it is going to share the inbox of your current primary KW email address. You will not have a separate login for this. Uh, you're going to use the same login for your primary account. It's just going to share that same account with it. If you wanted to uh, send emails from that alias email address, um, there is um, some steps you would need to follow in order to set that up, which we will uh, have that linked in the description below for you. Now, if you wanted to request the new email alias, I'm sorry, an email alias, you can just click on this link. Make sure you select your primary email account. So if you have a commercial account and a regular, um, there you'll see both of those here. But for the most part, you'll probably just see the one. So make sure you click on that. And then you're going to type here what you would like your new alias to be. So make sure that it is between four to 20 characters long, only lowercase numbers, dashes, underscores, or periods. And it has to start with a letter. Now, keep in mind, there is a list of um, things that KW does not allow, which I'll show that here for you. Um, any of these words or phrases are not allowed um, in the KW emails. So make sure you are not including any of these. I'll give you just a second if you want to screenshot that or pause it. Okay. Now, keep in mind, when you do create your um, alias email, if it does show that it has been approved here, it still needs to be approved by KWRI. Um, typically, this is done within about 24 hours. So if you wait a day, you come back, but you do not see that you have an alias email, it's most likely because they did not approve it. And again, if you could be able to, you'd be able to tell because it, it would show up here if you had an alias. And if it's not here, then it's most likely wasn't approved. Um, you are able to set up forwarding um, from here. When you click login to Google Apps, it's going to take you to your login like you would for your normal KW email address. Would you log in going to gmail.com and you just enter your email address and your password, and it should take you to your KW email account. If you would like to change your password or if you forgot your password, this is where you'd come to reset it. So again, make sure you select the primary account that you're needing to reset, enter your password, enter it again, and then you're going to click Save New Password. Now, if you click Save New Password and here at the top, um, you should either receive a message in green saying that it was updated successfully or it may have a red error message. Um, any red error messages that say anything about contacting your domain admin, um, anything like that, you are going to need to reach out to KW support directly. We are not able to do anything at that point, unfortunately. Um, they are the administrators of the KW email accounts, and they're going to want to verify your identity as the agent matching with this account. The easiest way to do this is from your command dashboard. 
you're just going to click on this circle with the question mark. And then you're going to click chat with support. They should be able to assist you with it from here um, and get that account reactivated for you. Recovery email. If you want to update the recovery email address that's on the account, this is where you can do that as well. So if you created this account years ago, but you don't have access to the recovery email address that was on the account anymore, you can update that information here. Now, when you go to log into your, um, your email account, again, you're gonna go to Gmail like you would a regular Gmail account, click sign in. And this is where you're gonna enter your KW email address. And then you're gonna click next and then enter your password. Again, if you receive a message when you're trying to log in that Google couldn't verify the account belongs to you or contact your domain um, admin, anything like that, you're gonna to want to reach out to KW support. They're the only ones that unfortunately can fix this for you. All right, and then there's one other way that you can access um, your email information. Instead of going through command, you are able to go to mykw.com, go or to technology and click on KW email. Now, if you have, if you see that through command that you had no KW email address on your account, you can go to mykw, technology, KW email, and then click on sign up. And it's gonna give that information here, um, asking you what you'd like your KW email address to be and all that information. Again, keep in mind those words and phrases that you're not able to use in the KW email address. <clears throat> or you can click on manage your KW email and it's gonna bring you back to these screens. Now, if you are wanting to change your KW email address, say you were set up incorrectly or you changed your last name, you got married, um, what you need to do is you will want to create a new alias email with the email address that you're wanting it updated to. Once this has been updated, you're going to need to reach out to KW support again and just ask them to simply make your alias email address your primary email address. Again, they do want to verify that you are who you say you are. Nobody's trying to access your account fraudulently, anything like that. So once you create the alias email address and it's been approved, you can reach out to KW support and they should be able to get that updated for you. All right, guys, I appreciate you uh, joining me today. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at, K um, I'm sorry, at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We would be more than happy to assist you. Have a great day.